Welcome to Stitchy Fix. I'm Victoria, and this is my mom, Chris. Hello. And you can wave at Sophia. Can you wave? Can you say hi, everybody. She's so <laughs> funny. We're like getting ready or whatever, putting everything um, set up. And she knows, and she like comes around and smiles at the camera and like yeah. practice waves. How was your week, Victoria? I don't know. <laughs> it was report card time, so I didn't get a single stitch of stitching in. Um, but, you know, that's okay. We have a three day weekend and we, I don't know, looked at houses. I think I remember as a kid, you used to love to go into model homes. I love looking at model homes. I'm so glad that you Even were Even though we weren't moving. In. Were they all decorated and everything? Yeah, they're like, nice. yeah, fully staged. It's very fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I did. What did you do, Chris? I, I worked, I stitched, and I started getting my Christmas decorations down, which... It's a process. We'll just put it at that. It's a process. <laughs> so. I remembered something I did that I've been trying to commit to. I'm reading a book, you guys. <laughs> Yay, Victoria! I, I'm, I'm a teacher, too. so I read all day in that I read <laughs> books for kids. But this is a book for adults. <laughs> what? What do you want? Do you want up? Oh. Um, <laughs> and it's called The Midnight library and it's pretty interesting and i've read like 75 pages so far what that's awesome yeah so that's three great. three nights in a row i've read before bed i'm just trying to do some more like wind down things instead of being on my phone so good idea yeah i've read some books too yeah i started a couple of books one of which i'm addicted to and that's called the atomic <laughs> habits uh just because it's it's applicable to business, it's applicable applicable to life. And I did actually go to an executive forum yesterday and the keynote speaker had quoted the book and my son-in-law, Victoria's husband Patrick, had already recommended the book. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta read. So I'm getting a little bit of reading time in, not 25 pages a night. My target is nine pages a night. Which is still really good. <laughs> Greater than zero. Um, yeah, so that's all I did this week. And oh, you have some Christmas boxes everywhere. It's just going to be a slow process. Yes. Yes. It's just going to be... The lights aren't going on anymore. <laughs> there are yeah. no external lights on. There's one that's on an Alexa light switch that keeps going on. But Zofia loves that tree. It's the Disney tree. I did stitch this week. I did stitch a lot. Yes. Chris has a lot to show I'm you. I'm so, so proud of myself. Settle in. Get your stitching out if that's what you do. Or I forget who I was watching. And she was like, thanks for wasting time with me, if that's what you're doing. And I was like, yeah. Like, sometimes hey. I'm just like, hi, hi friends. And sometimes I'm just like doing the dishes and watching Floss too. Yeah. But it's super inspiring to see everyone's projects. It really is. And I think um, I'm, I'm proud of myself because um, I made a lot of accomplishments on the projects I showed you last week. Nothing is fully finished. Nothing is finished yet but I made a lot of progress and I also discovered a new tool that is working for me so far um, which is tracking when I stitch like my stitching time and for me it's been very insightful because I perceive that I'm stitching two hours a night when really it's like three 15 minute periods oh. and no wonder I'm not making more significant <laughs> progress but I get up and down and things like that so this tool you want to show them? Oh yeah, I'll start. I'll start out by showing that. And it, um, to be honest, it is a free app. I have an Apple phone, so it's a, a an iPhone. So it's a free app, but only for the first three what they call timelines. And after that, it's twenty dollars for the year. Now for me, it's a tool that I'm using, so I'm ahead of the game. And it's really fun when you've actually stitched because you can see your progress. So it's a rainbow like. It looks like a clock. Right, a rainbow clock. It's just called timelines. Right. And these are the five timelines. This one gives you, you can add some description about what it is. And I obviously didn't add much. And then you assign a color to it. I guess hence the color clock. So after, um, next to each project, 
you can see where there's a clock face kind of you tap on that and it starts your timer for that session of stitching and you just touch it again to stop the time sequence on this app for stitching once I found this tool so it does make you feel like you're kind of um, what you couldn't see on that and the next time that you if you go and search it you can also see what days of the week that you mm -hmm. um, you stitched and again you see your own patterns so that's what I think is most insightful because my perception of how much I'm stitching and how much time I'm spending stitching are two different things and I also thought like a lot of people are doing the book of days um, and writing down like what projects mm -hmm. they're working on each day or planning it out and I was just like oh this is just another way if you're like more digital and right. you just want to kind of see what you're working on and keep track Right. I do use a pencil like calendar for work things and I do try to w write on there what project I intend to work on. But again, this is cool because I'm just trying to get in the habit of stopping and starting to see what am I doing? How much time is it yeah, actually how much, taking? Correct. So nice. So I have five projects that I made progress on. So I'd love to show you. The first is tiny modernist mouse's love letter. And as you know, this is one of my goals this year is to work on this um, even weave and learn how to do it better. Well, I've made more progress that from the last time I showed you. And you know, I'm getting there. It's a lot slower than what I normally work on. Um, I also noticed that I probably counted 12 times for every stitch that I put in for those leaves and the stems because I was afraid of messing up. But then once I get down to the little pot, um, it was a lot faster because I had the straight lines and I had already decided where the holes were. So there's my cute little bells. I bet she's gonna be ready for Valentine's Day. She totally is. And then I just think I was, it's always hard when you have like a color on a color, like the fabric, green on green, but I love this green. I think it turned out great. I love it too. All right, the next yeah. is my stack of critters, <laughs> which is going to make it for Christmas because wait till you see the progress. You see where his little red scarf is? <gasps> Look, everybody. <laughs> you for so sure far away first. Me. Yeah, that's you. for you. That's for you. There's the little bee. Look at how cute. <laughs> so I got, I finished the scarf, I think since the last time I showed you. And then I'm into, you know, polar bear body <laughs> on the left and the pom-pom on the scarf. So, again, I love this. I really have discovered also, since I felt very successful this week, I am not a monogamous stitcher. Like, I it was like... all false. 25 years of falsehood. <laughs> <laughs> I just, well, I, or at this time, I'm enjoying switching. Um because I'm feeling successful. <laughs> we have a little giggly girl down on down here. With all them little teepees you have now. Yeah. Okay, this is a new start um, that I'm starting with one of my girlfriends. We're, we're doing our own spring stitch along. This is the same girlfriend who we did Lucky 13, We Bit Wicked, and she's already finished, and I have not finished yet. But this is Country Cottage Needleworks Spring Time. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. Springtime serenade. Country cottage needleworks. <laughs> Springtime serenade. It's really pretty. And she and um, my girlfriend and I decided to do it on um, navy eight o'clock because she's got blues in her house as well as I do. And I have started the middle tree. Isn't that pretty? It actually shows up so nicely. It just really pops that light pink. Mm -hmm. And there's other pinks in the tree. So I think it's going to look really great. <laughs> so we're starting that. So hopefully we will make it by springtime. Yeah. And we are still in winter and we are still in January. <laughs> and I am working on, as you saw in our last video, the January snapshot. 
And I make color changes to the Forbidden Fiber Co. Colorway Lakeshore, Ada's Weigart, 14 count. And it, it's probably a little bit hard to see, but I've got, a, I got all the, everything but his hat on the snowman and I'm filling in the snowman. So I did that trick that others have talked about by outlining it. So I did all the interior colors and then I outlined the snowman so I can just fill it in while I'm doing other things because we all know white, whatever. Over it. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to get through it. And I did look ahead to next month's snapshot and it's really cute. So, um, Okay, so we're going to go halfway into haul and halfway into whips. Yes. So my, our friend, it's a little complicated. She's my age. We have little ones that are really close in age. Um, but my mom met her first through theater. And so we share her. Um, <laughs> but she started stitching this last year. And she got the sweetest Christmas gift. But she was like, you guys have to open them at the same time. So we hold them up at the same time. Yeah. So we got um, the Hands on Design um, Kitchen Series. So two out of the three. Um, so I got the one that's um, the whisks, which is super cute. Take whisks. And then Chris got. I got lick, Hi guys. lick the bowl. Bowl. Lick the bowl. So Sophia can say a lot of words with the B sound. Yeah. Bowl. It's so cute. And I hope she's going to do the third one. We're trying to encourage her to do the third one. And so. she also got us the fabric. Um, which like she was a brand new stitcher and just to know all this. So uh, we got a graceful gray and she went to our LNS and got it and picked it out for us. So it's all like Yay. measured and tagged and surged very nicely. So Ada 16 count and then all the fancy balls. Oh my gosh. Which is weeks. But I just, I love those colors. Those are the colors Ooh. of my we kitchen. We love those colors. Yeah. And I was so excited last week when we opened them that I started mine. <laughs> we do it in the right. I think this is right. Yeah, there you go. And I start in the middle. And look how far I've gotten. It is so sweet. I love it. I love it. So thank you, our dear friend. Thank you, Shara. And we're making progress. Yes. Well, I'm not making progress, but I appreciate it. I will eventually make progress. Yeah. And then I texted Chris because I was on Facebook <laughs> and um, Shannon Christine has those wonderful ornaments. We love her Halloween. Yeah, I um, have some of her Christmas too. Oh yes, we love her Christmas for, yeah, too. Yeah, we made for Lauren. Yeah. And then um, she just came out with a Valentine's. I don't know if it's meant to be an ornament. It's 62 by 74, so like it could be. But this is, uh, Chris bought this for us to do Love is in the Air. Isn't that so pretty? I just think, I don't know, the colors. I love the way she um, picks bright colors and they just really blend well together. So um, this is called In the Air, Shannon Christine Designs, and you can get it on her website? Or do you do it on Etsy? Um, I think I did it. I did it through her website because I've purchased other things, so I have a, an account at, yeah, like a I login for her website. I don't think she's on Etsy. I don't know. I, I know I just got it from her, her yes. website. Which is just um, shannonchristine.com. Mm -hmm. um, and and for, a Victor for a surprise for Victoria, I got her all the floss too. Yeah. We just DMC because yeah. we haven't been to our LNS in a while to get fancy floss. But we haven't. That should be on our radar. I, that was like our first or second video was going to the LNS for my birthday. Oh, that's right. And that was like my first outing um, after yeah. the baby had arrived. That's right. Just a couple Wild hours. Stuff. Yeah, it was big. And then we got one more haul. That's all we've gotten. <laughs> and that we, um, we actually are in the Calendar Crates Club, um, with Fat Quarter Shop by Stitching with the Housewives. And we just received the March chart. And I don't know, but I, this is like one of my favorite. I love flowers. Tulips, right? Tulips. And I just think this looks like we could be very successful at... Plus, we are going to have, um, we bought the same boards that she has, yeah. and um, Lauren, who you've met before, our da my daughter, Victoria's <laughs> sister, is going to be picking up our wood pieces tomorrow so she can 
put them in her pile to be whitewashed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thanks, Lauren. Didn't know that was happening. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So we should probably get stitching on those. You know, I'm gonna stitch one of these days once I figure out some balance. Uh, but I was gonna say we also have haul, but we it's not here because it's coming later. <gasps> I know. I feel kind of like guilty. But we did get the one of the first 50 boxes for the um so Abby Sue Designs, who is who is the pattern I'm doing for the Mary Poppins and the Meg that I got for Christmas. She also um, has two stitch alongs that she's done in the past, which was Dogs of Disney and Cats of Disney. And they've been free, and then she's going to sell them now. But she's doing a Fab 50 for the, um, Walt, Disney World's, Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, and it's going to be 50 characters. Of the gold statues, but they're not in gold. No, right. But of the statues. Of the statues for the celebration. And that's starting in the summer, and like at, into your email, Every other day, you'll get a new character. Um, and then it will finish at the end of the 50th year. So she made these boxes. They're called celebration boxes. And they're like lots of goodies and, and fun things to celebrate it. But she only had 50 of them. So mom and I like put it on our phone. We're like, okay, 12 o'clock on Saturday, we're going to be ready. And we snagged two of them and one for mom's friend who she goes to Disney with. And so, we are really and then, excited. I'm we? really excited and I feel yeah. super guilty. And I like immediately reached out to Debbie because she was like, I feel bad because she missed out on the fangirl fibers advent box. Oh, okay. And like all the fun, like advent boxes. So I'm like texting Kath, I'm like, try this link. So you can still, if you'd like to stitch along, I'm going to put um, the link in the description below to, if you want to stitch with us in the summer. So it won't start until the summer, June 2nd. Um, for the pattern. You can get the pattern. Mm -hmm. You can still do it, okay? So you can still be a part of it. It's just the, the boxes were limited. And then Fangirl Fibers, yeah, we're going to see Daddy soon. She is doing the fabric that's like goes with the pattern. So you can still get that and a special needle minder as well. So I'll put both links, one for the pattern for the stitch along and then one for the fabric and the needle minder. Those are still open. It was just these boxes are limited. Right. So we feel very, lucky. very lucky. Like, like we won the lottery, seriously, that's how we feel. Yeah, we, we feel really lucky and we feel like everything that Abby Sue Designs does and Fangirl Fiber does are incredible. I mean, yes, good picking, some... good quality. <laughs> Victoria doesn't know it, but she's got some surprises coming from Fangirl Fiber this year. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. A little tease. All right. And then we also, if you want to stitch with us, are doing frog warts. So this yes. will be Chris's first year yep. doing frog warts, and that is with Black Needle Society. That's also that summer. Is also summer, July. But I think that is still open until January 31st. So if you want to stitch Frogwoods with us and you like Harry Potter, <laughs> um, I'll put that link down below too in case you can still sign up. So I was able, since I did it before, get like the early release and, and get a box and everything signed up. So, And that's a virtual like conference too. So there's like a lot of, or virtual challenge. Like No, the conference? What are they called? Not conference. I don't know, you know, like a retreat, like a virtual retreat, sorry. <laughs> That's the right word. So there's like challenges and chat rooms and it's super fun. Okay, Hi. bye. You wanna say bye to everybody? You wanna come over here? Okay, carry everything. So her new thing is to like pick up everything, carry it two feet away, place it down, go get some more things. And then undo it, because today I had a, um, like a Rubbermaid box to brought out for Christmas ornaments in here. And it was new to her, so she first put herself in there. <laughs> I had the lid far away. She is so tiny, and this lid has got to be, what, like 24 by 30 or something? Yeah. She carries the lid over, then gets herself back in there. I'm thinking she wants to go hide in there. She goes out. She reloads with toys. She Here she comes. Thank you, Sophia. Okay. Okay, we go. We got all the stuff. We gotta sh you, you got to show the people your stuff. I got to show oh, my show stuff. stuff. We got to show you stuff. What did you carry over? What did you carry over? You show your book? Yeah. Your book? I hope this is entertaining for you yes. guys. And so, anyway, this afternoon she loaded it up with her stuff. Loaded her stuff. She is very active and very smart. 
Very smart. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Ah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> she's like, we gotta go, Mom. I gotta eat yeah, dinner. Yeah, she's hungry for dinner and seeing Daddy. Um. So, yeah, that's kind of also haul again down the line but if you want to be a, like with us we would love for you to do it with us if you can yeah. um so i'll put those links down below Ooh. um and hopefully i'll stitch next week since report cards are done i'm very hopeful um but i have to clean my house this week <laughs> I have to clean my house. I hope this was fun for you. It was fun. And Chris has done wonderful stitching, so we love to share that with you. If you're stitching any of the same projects, let us know. Um, yeah, one year ago we started this adventure, and here we are. I know. It's exciting. Thank you for watching us and yeah. putting up with us. Yeah, we are just... We have fun doing this. Chill vibes. Which is great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with our soundtrack in the background. <laughs> Sorry, it's just gonna keep getting more interesting, I think. <laughs> um, so we hope that this week you get to stitch as much as you want or as little as you want, and we will see you next week in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!